Welcome to the WMG Publishing Lecture Series. I'm Allison Longuera. I'm the publisher and chief designer here at WMG. And in this lecture, we're going to be talking about uh, mystery covers. In particular, we're going to be talking about covers for uh, more straight up mystery, for thrillers, and for cozy mysteries. Um, and uh, the three of those have um, some different looks to them. Mysteries and thrillers tend to have a lot more overlap to them. Um, there, there tends to be a lot more similarity. Uh, cozies are very different. Um, and in fact, cozies are probably the most different genre um, or subgenre of any of the other genres. They really are their own animal, um, which is ironic because a lot of times they have animals on the cover. So um, the, it's, it's really fascinating to kind of take these three different types of covers and uh, compare and contrast them. So this is going to be a fun lecture. We're going to have a good time going through them. And even if you don't um, write cozies or read cozies, it's really interesting to look at the formula that is used for those covers um, because it is extremely specific um, in, in what you can do. But in some ways... Um, the most fun because it's it, it can be such a challenge to do a good cozy cover so it's a lot of fun to look at those um, in this part of the lecture we're going to talk about uh, I'm going to talk about the history of, of these covers and how it's evolved and uh, if you've watched any of the other cover lectures you'll see that there's been um, quite a bit of, of uh, evolution of cover design in a lot of the other genres um, and uh, especially with the advent of ebooks, so within the last um, you know few years, there's been a huge shift. Uh, and right now, actually, there's a is a huge watershed moment. Um, there's a lot of, of flipping happening in cover design and things um, uh, shifting to look, ironically, more like traditional mysteries and thrillers. Um, so mysteries and thrillers and cozies really haven't changed that much. Um, it, Cozies have the most potential for being part of this new flip. And again, it's because of how different cozies um, look. And we'll, we'll look at that as we get further into the lecture. Um, so you can see what I'm talking about. But um, I've actually organized the covers um, by uh, genre and subgenre in this lecture. Um, I've given you four mystery covers, four thriller thrillers covers, and four cozy covers. So you can kind of see the difference. And if you look at the mystery and thriller covers, um, which I'll mention more specifically later on in this lecture, uh, you'll you'll see a lot of similarities between mysteries and thrillers um, and, and a couple of key differences. But um, if you look at cozies, they look completely different. Cozies look like nothing else out there, <laughs> uh, as I've said. So um, it, it's really it's really fascinating uh, to see, but because of some of the elements involved in cozy covers, um, art can be really hard to find for self-publishing cozy writers, um, and the you know typography tends to need to be smaller, especially because of the you know the way things have historically been done. That, that that's the subgenre that that really has the most potential to flip. But mysteries and thrillers, um, they still look a lot like they've looked all along um you know i mean there's obviously been some evolution but it hasn't been nearly as dramatic as in some of the other um uh, genres and that's primarily because especially thrillers thrillers have always been huge name huge font not a whole lot of art going on in the background very easy to see in thumbnail not a whole lot of need to to evolve um mysteries in fact have shifted more towards looking like thrillers um, uh, with this, even though they weren't that disparate before, but the, the one shift we've been seeing with mysteries is that we do have the names getting big, the author name getting bigger, the, um, the, uh, the title getting bigger. Um, that's been the shift we, we've seen with that primarily. And the art getting a little bit simpler. Um, although mystery and thriller art has always been you know, it hasn't been really complex. There's, it's not a very, you know, it's not like fantasy where you, you know, you've had these huge, like, you know, battle scenes sometimes. Just a lot of elaborate art, very detailed art. That's not the way mysteries and thrillers have ever been. So, um, now cozies, on the other hand, um, the, the art does tend to be very detailed. And it's, and it's illustration driven. And 
you know, so, and colorful. And, and we'll talk about that a lot more later in the lecture as we get into that, uh, that part of it. But this is going to be a fun one. Hang on. And um, it'll be interesting to see what the differences are. So next we'll talk about how to go out there and do some research to see what I'm talking about.